So we have feeling our own physiology, feeling our own physiology with more accuracy. Yes. And then two. I would say with subtlety. With subtlety. Yeah. Subtlety. And then noticing shifts based on changes that are in the external world. Shifts in our physiology. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Inner experience probably could go beyond physiology and into, oh, when I go into a park, I have these kinds of thoughts. I wouldn't call that necessarily physiology. That's probably, that's just as valid. But so physiology is a good word too. The example given would be uh, feeling bar, calmer how in a you, park. How you feel walking into a bar versus walking into a park. That's great. Okay. Making it up as we go. Yeah. We should sell the class. <laughs> um, <laughs> this. This class this class is, is on how to feel, <laughs> uh, which is kind of cool if you think about it. I mean, that's what we're learning all the time, but nobody ever taught us. So maybe it's cool to make it into a, a, a class. Um, let's get let's get Salesforce as a sponsor for this class. Mark Benioff's been very generous with his partnerships and sponsorships. Yeah. Anyone out there that's watching from Salesforce, please I think there's you join know if us. you think about how much feeling is our whole experience and how little we think about it, it's kind of amazing. I mean, we think about thinking all the time, all the time, how much thought is given to thought, a lot more than how much thought or attention is given to feeling, even though feeling is our primary mode of experiencing the world. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So 202 would be... I think that might have to be because of the amount of logic that we have to use to maneuver the world. We're born into mm. the societal pressures that cause us to need to use logic more. Whereas, if we were enabled as a child to use more of our feeling or intuition and have society that enabled the use of that more, then that's how we could. That's how that's going to be talked about in this transition we, period. We got, we got, we got, um, we got thrown off course at some point because we got hurt, and then instead of dealing with the hurt we found that there was a way to simultaneously avoid feeling hurt and to do things that looked productive. <laughs> uh, and those two um, tendencies colluded to create all the machinery of modern life. And now maybe we're starting, or those of us who are in this Western modern paradigm are starting to realize, oops, maybe we can go back to the, to the source, the feeling space. And yep. then eventually into class 202, which is what I've been teaching, which is how we are shifted by other people, how our experience is shifted by other people. Interesting. Okay, so how our experience is shifted by other people. So this can be maybe like example given how you feel when someone is laughing or sure. angry. Great. Okay. And then now is there a three, what would be like 301? Uh, now we go, we leave the realm of passively noticing our own experience and in class three, um, we start playing with it deliberately. So how to mm -hmm. deliberately open ourselves up to these kinds of experiences safely, mm -hmm. or how to deal with experiences that we've had that we don't want to have in the future. How to, how to work with this ability deliberately. Yeah, how to work with this ability how to, deliberately. How to deliberately and safely open ourselves up to these experiences. Or yes, and, and yeah. Work with this ability. Yep, that's, yeah. People often want to skip to class 301. 301. Yeah. Uh, me too. Everyone wants to know how to do something, but the building blocks are always crucial. 
everything before then. So. You don't just go onto the court and start shooting three pointers. You don't just go and start closing million dollar <laughs> deals. You got to close those ten dollar deals. Yeah. So literally going, how am I feeling r right now? And even if the answer is I have no idea, literally, but I've tried to feel something. You've now passed class one hundred and one, and you, um, we can build from there into. Oh wow! I'm deliberately opening myself up to this person's energy. I'm understanding how it affects me, and then maybe in class 302, um, I'm using what I'm getting to help others consciously. We're doing it all the time unconsciously, but now we can start doing it consciously. Yeah. Okay. So so 302. Once you start deliberately and safely working with the ability, then you start feeling how to help with yep. this yep. ability. Yep. Okay. So then this would also be maybe, <clears throat> this is a big, a big part of this in my opinion, at least from the very small amount of intuitive practice that I've had with this, is that I, it's really important for me to know when I am doing a process that is energetically exhausting for me, taking on someone else's uh, experience with trauma or taking on their, uh, their the the path the path of growth for them the integration of the trauma and the growth because that re that requires me to hold space and all that so so again when you're working with this process it, it's probably one of the most important things to understand how you're feeling throughout it because it can be extremely exhausting the most important thing to understand uh, how you yourself are feeling is the is the foundation of I want to say it's the foundation of all growth. Mm. Mm. It doesn't mean you have to be conscious of it all the time. I don't want to put that pressure on people. But if there's another way to grow into who you really are that doesn't involve feeling what you're actually feeling, I don't know it. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's, my, that's the limitation of my own worldview um, or either that or I'm just right and there is there is this pathway that's open to all of us that few of us take where we grow through our own experience and much of our own experience is 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 the felt sense uh, but we can broaden that it's not just what you're feeling it can also be what you're hearing and seeing and what's coming through you but having a reference point for how everything that's showing up feels in your body feels so crucial. Um, yeah, ha yeah, having that reference point. And that's, the reference point is 101, and then 102 <laughs> developing out. Le and then we can, we can package this probably <laughs> away now, but it's just, it's, yeah. it's, quite, it's quite cool. We finally were able to illustrate something on a, on a spectrum, but um, on yeah. a development spectrum. So feel, feel your own with subtlety, and then you notice your shifts based on external world, and then you, um, you notice the shifts uh, from other people, and then you deliberately and safely work with it, and then I wrote oh. helping other people with the ability, like holding Sounds space. Great. Sounds trauma. great. And then if we wanted to go to Four. 402, we now 40, start working 40. with um, non-human entities. Yeah. Entities, subtler energies, other layers of information. Um. Subtler energies. Yeah. And then, I mean, the dead. Honest. I mean, this stuff that's out there we might not necessarily believe in, but that seems to show up regularly to people who seem to have a a, a capacity for it. Yeah. Um, a um, lot of this, and actually, this is part of what. Um, initially got me to the spectrum was just the ability to if we, if we believe that everything is connected if we believe that the butterfly effect exists if we believe that there is all fibers are connected of every atom of every molecule of every plank length that then there is some sort of ability then to go from my toroidal form of energy into your toroidal form of energy through this interconnected web. Totally. Feeling not only your soul at this moment, but feeling, feeling across the earth to how China currently feels. I think this is very possible. 
feeling how a dolphin currently feels swimming through that gorgeous ocean, jumping through the and enjoying that, feeling how that tree that's been alive for thousands of years feels as it's continuing to nourish that environment, get those resources from the soil and get the resources from the sunlight. Totally. How about how the dolphin feels when they're being slaughtered in that Japanese massacre every year? Do we, can we touch on that or? We can. Bring awareness can. to that. You just have. Slaughter. Yeah, there Over it is. Japan. The, slaughter. the pain of the dolphin being slaughtered is now present in this space. Yeah, the ta Taiji Dolphin Drive Hunt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just just for just for a moment because um, oh, we don't we? we don't know how many people are yeah are aware of this, but <clears throat> government quota allows over two thousand to be slaughtered or captured. <clears throat> Annually, twenty two thousand are killed. So 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 yeah, why why money why money? Go ahead, show the picture. Context Must and history. We? I would rather not look at a picture. Yeah, of let's not do it on slotted. David's stream, but um, but we just brought awareness to it. But that's that's yeah, that was our. I'm sorry, David. It's okay. My role is devil's advocate. And I appreciate your role. Okay, so and that I'm was expressing my preference. Yes, yes, <laughs> that was okay. That was 401, and then uh, we can just end there, and then we'll 40, yeah. 402 has something to do with the way we engage with these entities, maybe maximizing. Yeah, and 402 would be something like um, travel, interdimensional travel or something like that. We've now let, gone beyond my pay grade a little bit, although yeah. I have flashes of this. Totally, yeah. All right, beautiful. <laughs> Good job, team. We've made right. this. And we will put this in the bio after the show as well. I'm glad you guys got a chance to take a look at it, and I'm glad we got to make this. We, we'll be doing this more often on the show, integrating a note and then writing in it if we have uh, good thoughts to integrate.